Hi, I'm Rajiv Pridashi from PR3 Systems. And if you are working with data stage or information server, you must have heard two names. One is Ray Burlard and one is Vincent McBurney. Vincent is called the, the biggest blogger on data stage, and a lot of people have credited the success of their data stage projects to Vincent. We are lucky to have Vincent with us, and I'm going to ask him a couple of quick questions on what does it take to become a data stage guru. So, Vincent, what do you think about what would be your opinion on how to become a disc, an expert in data stage? Well, um, the best way is to be hands-on with the product, to constantly, constantly be using it, but to always ask the question, is this the best way to use it, other, other ways to use it for this particular problem, and to look for advice on how to use it, to, so to look for a mentor, uh, to look on the online forums, but to never accept that what you've been told or what you, the way you're using it is the best way. And by constantly exploring and experimenting, that's how you become a, an advanced user of any product, including data stage. Okay, great. So, uh, Vincent, what are the, some of the resources that a data stage developer can use to to learn more? And if it, he gets he or she gets stuck in a problem, what should be the way in which he should approach to solve a problem? Well, uh, a good way to get started is to read the Red Book, especially the recent one about data stage parallel jobs. To look for some developer works articles about specific functions like XML processing. To look for my blog, obviously, on how to use data stage and to look at the DS Exchange for threads and forum threads about uh, various parts of the product. Great. Thanks, Vincent. Um, so if there's uh, one thing that you would say that uh, from a data stage perspective, do you think that certifications are very valuable to increase the knowledge of a data stage developer or what exactly is your thought on that? I, I don't think a certification ever hurts. I'm more comfortable with a certified candidate when I interview people because that means that they've at least studied the parts of the, each part of the product, and they've at least uh, learned the whole scope of the product, rather than uh, just learning it on one project where they might have only uh, no a, a narrow scope of, uh, of how to use data stage. So, I like certification with project experience. That, that, that I think that's the combination I look for. Sure. Then this is the last question for you, Vincent. According to you, in all the data stage projects that we have, what is the number one reason why sometimes these projects fail? I think the number one reason is that uh, uh, the, the, the ETL development goes on too long, and, and ETL development jobs have uh, changed over and over because of the requirement specification, because of the lack of profiling, and the lack of the data definitions, and it really leaves the ETL developer in the lurch. They're having to go back and do some foundation tasks and not their ETL development work, and it puts them under pressure. And so the, the main thing is to get the foundation of your project right before your ETL developers have to start their development work. Thank you, Vincent, for your time. Just truly Thank appreciate you. it. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Yeah. So, friends, what you saw just now was uh, you heard Vincent McBurney, who's the number one blogger for Data Stage. And if any one of you has any questions about what the roadmap is, what happened in IOD, you can go to his website uh, and his blog site, which is on IT Toolbox, and search for Vincent McBurney. You do a Google search on Vincent McBurney, you'll see some great articles, great blogs. He's a real phenomena, and he's done a lot for the community. So on behalf of everyone, we appreciate his kindness. Thank you so much. This is Rajiv Priyadarshi from PR3 Systems.